All right. Today we are going to Babylon Collectibles. The store looks immaculate, very, very neat looking. So we're gonna go in there and check it out. It looks prom a lot. It looks like a lot of Silver Age and Golden Age books, and it looks more like a uh, a Comic Con. The way he's got the book set up. So let's go in and check us out. This is gonna be a nice shop. A very handsome storefront and some nice signage outside and as we enter here it is a beautiful space nice and wide open it is immaculate very clean in here right? very orderly and neat and along the right side of the wall I see a bunch of uh, wall books like at Comic-Con there's lamps lighting them up so uh, we'll check those out in a second we got some uh, manga here some anime and Funko Pop is getting outrageous lately, right? Now they are including Black Adam and Action Comics 1 and Venom. I guess Funko Pop is upping their game. And uh, the presentation now is including the comic books. And here is the reprint. Action Comics 1, first brand Superman. You thought it was a lot of money, but it's only 6 bucks. You can grab a 9-8. <laughs> Alright, and then we have all the newer comics here on the front. He's got the big two up front here. This looks like a, uh, and then on the tables, laid out, very nice. He's got all the newer comics as well. Nice house on the lake, Superman. Um, and on the right, so the three or four tables, he's got the newer comics showcased with the thing with a statue in the middle, right? Really nice presentation. And he's got new books on the wall. And then he's got indies in the back. And here is the Sean Murphy Beyond the White Knight. It's cover B. Beautiful cover, right? Of Harley. And he's got some statues, statuettes. He's got back issues. Funko Pop. He's got more books laid out here. He's got a bunch of trade paperbacks. And here is the wall I was talking about. It's like a Comic-Con. He has lamps faced on the books. Just like when you go to a con. The lights are on them. Showcasing them. And they're all in the Mylars with the thick cardboard uh, backing. Very cool. Bunch of Avengers books here. Some copper uh, X-Men, Wolverine and Saber fighting it out over there. Sabretooth. All right. The old school Avengers uh, trade dress is awesome, right? That Silver Age Avengers trade dress is so cool looking. It's kind of relaxed and very thin, the lettering. And we have the Dark Phoenix Saga, X-Men. We got some Moon Knight, She-Hulk 1. Got an old school Batman book here. He's got some great books. It's a lot of fun, right, to look at this nice wall here. Check out all the books. He's got a lot of DC represented here. And we have, um, looks like the first Silver Age Shazam down there. And we got some uh, long boxes here with some Spidey. Cool little Spidey run here. And this is what, in the hundreds? Is this the uh, Busema Spidey? That's a great cover there, right? With Mysterio. And here is... There's a little She-Hulk on the right there. But here's a nice run of uh, Spidey here. And these books look like they're in great shape. Do it! Do it! And I might think through some of these boxes, right? I know you guys like to see the back issues. So maybe we'll go through some of these boxes to see what's in here. Boom! And there are some new indie books in the back. I want to check those out too. I came in here to grab something. I was going to look at the Star Wars, the new Star Wars books. And there was a couple of other new indies I wanted to look at. All right, here we go. Here's Wonder Girl. And here is the Silver Age Shazam right here, right? This is like it's mint, right? That was legitness. 
And we have a bunch of uh, X-Men and Moon Knight as the uh, Dark Phoenix. All right, very cool here. And he's got some original artwork. And um, look at those Star Wars helmets, huh? Look how cool that is. Red Leader, is that what? <laughs> some cool Dead Devils laying around, Kazar. All right, let's go through some of these boxes here. Looks like a little uh, Avengers box and a Captain America box. Next. Oh, there's some more Spidey. Oh, the best story arc ever, right? Craven the Hunter. Are you serious? That's the best Spidey story arc of all time, I would say. It's uh, uh, J.M. DeMattis, right? Let's see what else they got in the store. Let's browse around. Let's go! These are more wall books behind the counter, right behind the register. He's got more wall books. Knock, knock! And he's got the uh, first Namor, right? Samarina there. The first solo title, right? And he's got the first Rhino, Spidey. He's got the Todd McFarlane uh, Batman there. Yeah! And is that the New Teen Titans first appearance? Nova, Avengers first Rogue, right? Shut up! Daddy, chill. All right, and he's got some boards and boxes here. He's got a cool little posters, little uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, Cause is in here, that artist Cause. And he has a license for Batman. He did a Cause-style Batman. Uh, I showed you him in another video I had. I think it was the uh, Book Off video. And here's Chrysanthem, Evil Chewbacca. Oh, that Mandalorian cover is awesome. Look at this. Should I grab this? Daddy, chill. I think this is the second print, but the cover is dynamite, right? Very cool. And we got some more Star Wars books here. Let's just skim through the Star Wars here. Maybe we'll see something cool in here. The Obi-Wan has a new solo title out now. So uncivilized. Oh, here's the doc, da, Dr. Afra. Crimson Rain. Oh, here's that new title. There's a new title out. Hyperspace stories. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are following this title. New title is out. Is this worth getting? Are you serious? And why was that on Dark Horse? Is that a new title? All right, here's Donny Cates' new indie. Vanish? I don't know. He gets a lot of hype when he first gets on a book. But then he kind of vanishes, right, Donny Cates? I don't know. Is it worth following him and picking up those books? Nope. Right? He gets, like, hot and some attention. But then they kind of fizzle out a little bit, and he doesn't really do anything with the introduction of all the characters he uh, creates. Nope. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! And these are the indies back here on the left of me. You see the Usagi and the uh, crashing, and uh, G.I. Joe is on, uh, was it IDW? All right, this Batman run was awesome, though, right? All those cool covers. I'm Batman. And he's got a bunch of trade paperbacks, graphic novels, deluxe editions. Look at those beautiful books, right? Wow! And he's got some posters. Funko Pop Everywhere. EC has a new Shock and Suspense uh, reprint out. And he has some slabs, of a box of slabs here. You want to go through these? All right, we can skim through these. This is a World War Hulk, right? Very cool book. It's just the first Killer Croc. And uh, look at that beautiful Avengers, huh? And we got Blood and Stone. Is that Lady Death? Red Hulk. And the one, all right, the Perez and Wolfman Wonder Woman. Very cool book. All right, stay with me. I'll show you the books that I got. Something is Killing the Children. I'll show you the books that I got. Stay with me. We'll go through it. And uh, we'll check out the books that I purchased. Let's go. All right.
right, that Mandalorian cover was awesome. That is a second printing on the left. I grabbed it just for the cover. I thought it was so cool. And on the right, Hyperspace Stories is a new title. There's a new title out on Star Wars. It is Dark Horse. It's an all-ages book. And there is another Dark Horse title coming out, uh, Tales from the Rancor Pit. So keep an eye out for that. I think it's coming out next month or in two months. Uh, the store threw in this Frank Miller here. Frank Miller Ashcan. Uh, he threw it in uh, for free. He said he liked the, the books I was buying and he wanted to uh, welcome me to the store. And he threw in that ash can, which was very nice, right? And on the right was the uh, current Batman run, but I don't have that variant. I thought it was a Batman 127. That variant is awesome, right? So I just grabbed it, how cool it looked. And then on the left, we got Ice Cream Man. I'm not following the horror anthology. But it was an M.C. Escher co cover there, right? A homage to the uh, painter. So I was like, ah, it's kind of cool, right? I thought I'd grab it. And on the right, I bought that Donny Cates book. Uh, the Donny Cates stuff was pretty good. The Hulk and the Thor and the Venom was really good. Um, so I guess I'll grab this Vanish. I'll see where it goes. Give it a shot. But like I said, he's been kind of fizzling out a little bit, right? He starts off really hot, introduces a lot of characters, but then he doesn't do a lot with the characters. So, I don't know. Let me know if you guys are uh, hanging in with them there. Now, we got Action Comics number one. First appearance, Superman. And this saying is a million-dollar book. But if you go to your LCS, it's only six bucks, and it's mint. It's a 9.8. <laughs> and on the left, we got Stuff of Nightmares. This is an R.L. Stein book. He is the uh, creator of Goosebumps, right? He's got a new comic out. So, maybe I'll grab that. I think this is an anthology. I think there's three stories in here. So, I'll grab his new comic book out. I'll see what's going on there. A little horror anthology. Let's see how many books we got. We got two, four, boom, six. Do it. Do it. Eight. Bruh. Daddy, chill. All right, I got eight books. Let me know if I missed anything. If that's your LCS, let us know in the comments below if I missed anything. If that store is famous or something and I overlooked it. Uh, if not, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. You don't have to go home, but you can stay here. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my other videos. I will see you next time. Daddy, chill.